Alright guys, in this video I'll quickly be showing you a few things you need to check out for if you are buying a deep circle battery for your power backup system. Um, in case you are buying a new one or you are buying a fairly used one, you just need to quickly check for this both externally and internally to be sure of the kind of battery you are putting in your system. Before we do that, if you are watching us for the first time and you've not clicked on the subscribe button and on your notification button, please kindly do so. See this red button below the screen, just click and then uh, like this video, share the video, drop your comments, ask questions and I will obviously attend to all your questions. Alright, so let's go straight into the business of the day. Uh, in order for you to know if your battery is good, you need to check few things externally about the battery. And then uh, the first one is uh, check if the terminals are not uh, loosed or broken. Uh, just check if the terminals are intact. Uh, be sure that the terminals are just on point. Then the next thing you need to check is that uh, you check if there are no cracks on the surface of the battery, that's the casing. Also check if it is not leaking or having any pool of uh, liquid around the casing. Just check this thoroughly all around the battery. Then um, the, another thing you need to check for is uh, check if there is no any sort of uh, bulging, you know, in the casing of the battery. You can check all around the body. The, the body of the battery casing should be smooth. But check if there are bulging around the casing of the battery. That means uh, something is wrong with the battery. Don't just go for it. Uh, for this one that I'm showing you, obviously this battery is just good. So I expect you to check for what looks like this battery in this video if you are going to buy. But if you have a battery that it has rupture or bulging around the casing, please don't just go for it. That battery is not good. Um, right, uh, we have uh, given you points that will make you check few things on the body, you know, externally of the battery. So let's look at uh, how to know if internally the battery is good or not. Right, so we've checked few things uh, externally about the battery. We need to really know what is going on in the battery as well before you finally settle down for the choice of buying this battery and uh, making payment. Um, uh, to do that, you will need a multimeter, yes, and then also a battery charger. But the first one is to first check for the voltage of the battery. Uh, any battery that is in good condition, whether the battery is fully charged or not, should uh, have readings, you know, when you measure the voltage of the battery. But in a situation whereby you are having zero readings, that means the battery is bad. Uh, something is wrong internally in the battery so don't just go for it for this my battery it is reading so um so let's go on again the second thing you need to check is to place the battery on a charge mode and then while it is charging you take your reading so a good battery should have reading that is above uh, 10.5 if while charging the battery and then you take your reading with the uh, multimeter to check for the voltage reading and then it is reading uh, something below 10.5 volts then that battery is bad but if it is reading above that then the battery is uh, okay uh, I believe you enjoyed this video and uh, if you do please kindly uh, share the video click on the subscribe button like I earlier mentioned so as to grow this channel and see you in our subsequent video. Bye for now.